Okay, so I got me a new light. Not a light. A mirror. Rear view mirror. Passenger side or left, as I say in the uh, in the book. So, three screws. One, two, three holes. Mine only had two screws in it. And one plug. There. So, I don't want it to fall crack. So, six, what was it? Maybe $80. In that 80 quid in that area there so getting the side panel off is quite difficult I haven't managed to do it but um, there's a bit of trim around this thing there so you take that off and you can get that one screw out there first thing you do is just sort of pop off this speaker and there's your three three screws in there so now I've I've got this open enough that I've disconnected the old one so all I got to do now is try and get that that one in that plug. I don't have to take this off any further. I just what I did with this one, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I just kind of lifted lifted up on that, and popped it open. Once I remember figured out how to get that screw off there, there should be another screw or two down here somewhere, but I can't find them, and I don't need them. So I just got to fiddle fiddle that wire into that clip up here. The reason I had that paper there was because I didn't want it, those screws falling down in the hole and then to the Never Never Land. So, what's going to be the easiest? Uh, put the thing on and put a screw in it so that's kind of in place, not flopping around. I think that might be the best thing. Okay, ready? Oh, one more try. Yes, Sparky! Good boy! Good boy! Who's <laughs> a good doggy? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put a screw in there and see if I can hold it in place. I guess it looks the same, hopefully. Um, looks pretty close, doesn't it? The reason I, I, I've had this car for a couple of years and I was getting used to that uh, duct tape mirror in place. I had it duct taped on there and um, I found this by accident cheap cheap 320 something quid for one at Toyota at least unless I got my figures mixed up so next step put that thing on the door okay I'm having a little trouble already this looks too deep almost to me but the trick I think is getting these little things into their little slots there's a the rectangular one there goes at the top and the other one goes in there on the bottom what I think once I get those in place it might work nice rubber seal though that looks good if it's the right size okay you see you got I got just something propped in there to see what's going on now if you look down in there here's the, here's the new uh, new wire and where did the connector go oh there it is just right. There we go. Uh, let's see. I think it only goes one way, and I push that thing this way. So it was. I pushed on that. I pushed on it this way. I want it to stay twisted around. Okay. Oh, it was in. Oh, come on. Something to push it with now. Until it clicks. That clicked. Maybe. pretty good let's test it see what we got anything in the way oh look at that nothing oh the mirror is moving a little bit but the auto-folding, auto-folding. 
unless it's in like the wrong position. Huh, that's the important feature there. Huh. Ah, bugger. Okay, there's the back side of the old one, and as I'm looking at it, it has a motor right over this swivel point. I don't know how it's connected, but this one does not have that motor there. And I don't see how... The, the good thing is at least I can fold it now, I guess, manually, because I couldn't do that before. So everything else was working before, so I guess I'm fairly happy if I can adjust the inside. Not as happy as I'd like to have that anti-folding feature on there. But now here's the old shield thing. It looks like it'll fit. So a little bit loose at the top here on the fitting. And like I said, I only have two screws in there at holding that, so. What's it look like at the bottom, where that screws out? Uh, that'll be all right. I find a well. I could find one of those screws, maybe. Shit, where would I even look? Got so much stuff. I need a, a fat one, a ten mil fat. I'll have to go look through my other stuff and see if I have one. Should I stick it in there? It's worth the effort to spend a few minutes just looking for that a screw. And then we'll pretty much be done with it, really. Well, I can't get it to go on properly, the cover. So I'm going to take a break. Have something to eat. It's just not getting in on this top one for some reason. Should just pop right in there, but it's not. So, plan B.